Morning, gang. Once again, bringing you everything went down in the off-road world, courtesy of Hollywood Hills and LiveX. Now, this weekend, it was round five of the Farm Jam, but hang in there. We'll look at that in just a few minutes. Let's go back two weeks back in time. And it is back in time as well, because it was the retro roof and the first ever running of the retro roof. The whole idea of this was to be the flatlands or the lowlands, the slightly easier riding in Lesotho. And believe me, there is no easy riding in Lesotho, but it was without going into the mountain passes. 250Ks in one day, bikes, quads, cars, buggies, unicycles, absolutely whatever you want to bring. Of course, there was always going to be a winner, and this time on the bikes, that's what we're going to be reviewing. It was Jazz. Jerry Kutsia walking away with the big win and the inaugural win at the first ever running of the Retro Roof. The big story with that is he went out and got his name on the plate, and it was a 350 on the factory KTM that walked away with it, beating out all of the cars, beating out absolutely everyone along the way as well. So hats off to Jazz for walking away with that one. Another story that we will catch up on as well, and this is a cool one to review. It's the former Mr. 125, Ryan Peltzer, went up there on a 250, won out in the 200 class, and got second overall on the bikes. So is this the move that we've been waiting to see that's been on the cards for a very long time? For the guy who's been on 125s for what feels like forever, maybe making the move up into OR3s. But a great job for the top bikes, and that was Jazz and Peltzer. They have changed the timing of the retro roof for 2020. And as you can see already, it's gonna be super early in the year, March. I've checked the calendar, shouldn't have too many clashes, so we should be able to get the guys up there as well, and I'm definitely going up for that one. So watch out and mark the calendars, and watch out as well, because I see a lot of guys have already started dropping their dates. So I think there's gonna be a change in culture for 2020, where all of the tours will get their dates out, or the most of the tours will get their dates out before we close down for Christmas. Anyway, that was two weeks ago. So what happened this weekend? This weekend, obviously, we were down there with LiveX, and that was a farm jam and we'll check out what is coming around the bend for that. But right now, it was a little bit of international flavor as well. So the South Africans have got a huge, huge turnout when it comes to racing Sea to Sky. For some reason, it fits nicely with the way the guys are prepping their bikes, prepping their riding style at the moment. And of course, we've had a ton of really strong results. We've had, obviously, last year's winner and previous runner-up, Wade Young, and we've had Scott Burberry on the podium, I think it was three years back as well. So the guys have been going over there and showing what they can do. This year we had a really strong fielding, so strong in fact, that more than half of the top 10 was dominated by the South African riders. This time around, Wade came out there as the reigning champion. He could only go forward with a number two step, and that was all lost on the final day because he was dominating in the first three days of the event. Flanny was consistent as ever, walked away with a rock solid number five, and pretty much started as he finished. He was number five the whole way through the event. The guys that were just about inside the top 10, and that was Matty Green, Slayer, and Lloydy. Those were the real strong rides, and they ended up, I think Lloydy walked away with a 13, and it was a nine and 10 for Slayer and Greeny. And the Slayer, I think it's his first time out there as well. He did a real good job, kind of like built his way up and started to come strong towards the end. TT was running inside the top, I think the top eight, most of the first two days of the event, and then he had some major problems late on in the event that dropped him out of the scoring. But very strong run, and almost half of the top 10 covered by the South African riders. So great riding from those guys, and very, very cool to see Wade backing up his win from the previous year with another solid second place. Hilo wanted the win, and just, just we've got like a little video clip here. Check how close it was come the finish line. It has been an absolute nail biter, and it always is. See, the sky is always going to be cool for the South Africans, and no doubt we'll see a couple of South Africans on the podium in future events as well. All right, so that was a quick review of Retro Roof and Sea to Sky. Now hang on to your hats, because over the next two weeks, once again, Hollywood Hills, in conjunction with LiveX, will be bringing you highlights of the racing from the two-wheelers, the quads, and the juniors from Farm Jam 5. This is just a little bit of a taster to get you guys excited about the project.
So I hope you're as excited as we are and we are super pumped and it was a really, really cool day's racing. Massive numbers on the bikes and watch out. So next week, Monday, there's gonna be show one and the week after it will be show number two. So make sure you mark your diaries and we are super pumped to make a couple of superstars once again coming out of Farm Jam round number five. Their final round of the championship, of course, that's gonna be coming down the pipe in just a few weeks. And let's get into it as well because it is gonna be a super busy racing month of October. So first things first, let's tag the calendar. So coming up this weekend, uh, we've got uh, the PE round of the National Enduros, that's the Winterberg. Uh, that looks like it's gonna be a real spectacular event. Always a little bit of a gamble to see numbers at this time of year, but we should be able to see certainly some championships get wrapped up. The weekend after that, it's the final round of the GXCCs at Zorgfleet. So we're gonna be going down there as well. It's gonna be fun to see what goes down. And this is obviously the wrap up, the final round of eight with only one throwaway round on the tour for the GXCCs. And that will wrap up the 2019 running of the GXCC tour, nice and early as well. Two weeks after that, we go into the final farm jam of the year. That's gonna be their round six of six. And of course, we'll be down there bringing you all the racing action. And we really hope you guys will come and join us. It really is a cracking family atmosphere and super fun and close racing as well. Remember, most of the time, the seniors just racing between a 25 and a 30K loop. What else went down this weekend? Of course, our friends at 421, they're getting themselves ready for the final round of the GXCCs. Brian Herbst and the boys and girls were out there at the flat track racing this weekend, just getting things dialed in. The rest of the crew were just licking their wounds and trying to put their bikes and quads back together to get ready for the next round of the GXCCs. And we'll be catching up with those guys next weekend or in two weeks time when we go out to Zorgfleet. Of course, while we were up there at Middleburg, we popped in at Vans Racing to see what specials they had on the cards. And check out this pile of tires, the Dunlop gummies, and they've got some crazy specials running with these guys. Listen to this, a front tire special with a moose for 1950, that is absolutely insane. And a rear special for 2450, that's tire and moose on the Dunlop gummies. And you've got to know, these things grip where nothing else can. So very cool to see that going down. We also checked out that they've picked up a new delivery of all of the full range of the 2020 Husqvarna's. Listen to these numbers. The TC85 running at 65,700. The FE350, which is probably going to be one of the most popular bikes on the season, 124,700. The TC50s, which is obviously where the starting gate happens for all of our juniors, 43,700 for that. And then the next step up, the ever popular jump up, TC65, 52,700. Always cool to go hang out with the guys at Vans Racing and watch out for more and more specials to come down the pipe. For now, we're gonna sign off with that one. And once again, guys, remember to mark your calendars. Next week, Monday, and the following Monday will be the two review shows of Farm Jam, round five. Check in later.